Hello, I'm Brian Essen from How To Automotive. In today's video, we're gonna be checking out the new Milwaukee Tools underbody light that they just came out with. We're gonna put it through its paces and to show you how this is gonna benefit you, so come with me. First thing I wanted to do was tell you a little bit about the underhood light. We'll start with the part number. 2126-21XC is the part numbers. And what you're gonna get is the light itself, a four amp hour battery, and a charger. So this new light features three modes of lighting which illuminates at 1200, 800, and 600 lumens and it features their true view technology which mimics sunlight. So this light was designed to mount on the rack arm or any flat metal surface underneath the vehicle and illuminate the bottom of it. It has a, a rotating pivot arm and the head of the light rotates in multiple angles to allow you to get into the perfect angle to uh, work hands free. Now the light was designed to be mounted under the body of a vehicle using a magnet. This is a very strong magnet. I'm not sure exactly how much the pull weight is but I had to jerk it really hard to even get it to dismount. So it's going to be very secure as long as it's on a flat metal surface. So the head of the flashlight is designed to rotate 300 degrees the body is rotates 300 degrees and the arm will swing up and down 180 degrees to get that perfect lighting in that perfect situation so if you're going to unbolt the transmission you know how hard it is to get light to the top of the bell housing when you're trying to get to those fasteners this this did a pretty good job of getting that light right up there where you can see it and now your hands free so you can remove that transmission so you can mount this light on any flat surface it doesn't have to be the rack arm you can mount it on the suspension, the frame, anything like that, and then rotate the light into that perfect area. To operate, it only has two buttons, a power button here, and also has an indicator of your battery life here, and then the mode switch where you can switch it from high, medium, and low. So when I was working with the light, I wanted to be as creative as I possibly can to use it as many ways as I possibly can to show you guys. So right here, I'm using it on the rack arm here to illuminate the, uh, the drum brakes on this vehicle I'm working on here, so I can, see everything I'm doing here I'm lighting up the uh, the springs the hold downs the clips everything is being uh, lit up perfectly hands-free so I can I'm able to work and this really helped me out especially since it was a rainy day out and it was cloudy so there wasn't a whole lot of light in the shop so this light is designed to be water dust and chemical resistant so it's gonna stand up to the test of time when you get it all dirty like you see here I'm getting handprints on here all you need to do is some mild soap and water wipe it off and it comes clean just like any other of the Milwaukee tools that you may see out there another cool feature to the light is the boom arm is actually magnetic so you can put parts tools or anything like that that you're taking off and stick them right here on the arm so that makes it very convenient if you're doing something quick you can throw your parts tools or fasteners right on the arm of the light so you can get creative of how you use the light i'm using it here on my toolbox hutch here to create an overhead light to light up a, a, a little clip that i'm trying to get off it was a pain in the butt to get this clip off on the vehicle so i popped it off brought it over here to the bench top here and now i can work with the light lighting up exactly what i'm um, working on and then you know i can get that part out and because the light is so adjustable, I was able to angle that light perfectly to get right where I needed to put the light, making life pretty easy for me. So what I used to use was the Milwaukee uh, Rocket Tower light here to light up the bottom of the vehicle, which did a pretty good job of lighting everything up, but it lacked the adjustability to really get into those nukes and crevices that you're working on. And since that light was on a stand, that meant that that light was kind of in the way of working on the vehicle itself. So the tower light was kind of in the way of my body itself and working on it, and also it created uh, shadows. So now I'm using the underbody light here, and it's much closer to my work, much more focused. I'm able to adjust that light exactly where I want it. The body of the, of the, of the light itself is not in my way or, or interfering with my work in any way. So I'm able to work hands free and that made a big difference. Now, just because it says underbody doesn't mean that you can't use it under the hood of the vehicle. So anywhere you can mount it onto a flat metal surface, you can mount it there and then it doesn't matter if it's the hood, the core support, you can use it like this. It works great as an underhood light as well. So at any one particular time, I use the light straight three to four hours at a time and the most of the battery would run down it would be down to two bars so the battery life is pretty good on this tool 
So Milwaukee claims that it'll last five hours on the high, which I think it's pretty accurate. On the low setting, they claim it gets up to 15 hours of work time, but I pretty much use it on high all the time, so I can't verify the low power setting. So if you're interested in a tool like this, I will leave links for it down in the description of the video. I'm Brian Nessa from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching.